The clash of daylight UFO sightings is being meticulously documented in one of the world's most famous UFO hotspots, Gulf Breeze, Florida. Since at least 1947, elements of our government have been absolutely aware that we have non-human, highly advanced intelligence visiting this planet. If the secret is impossible to keep, then we must find a way to adjust to this extraordinary oddity. Bottom line is, at all costs, preserve the social order. That has always been the stakes, and of course those are very high stakes. Those are war stakes, okay? We're, we're looking at a war here. They won't go away. The latest Gulf Breeze sightings are adding an ominous new layer to the UFO story. Sightings has obtained exclusive photographs and videotapes of mysterious craft flying in broad daylight. This new evidence is among the most significant UFO footage ever recorded. The photo and video evidence that we've recently seen from Gulf Breeze is far more important than the, all the previous UFO photo and video evidence combined. It used to be just another resort town in southern Florida, but Gulf Breeze has changed. Vacationing families drawn to the area's tropical waters and white sand beaches aren't the only visitors in the area. For nearly a decade, the name Gulf Breeze has become synonymous with UFOs. It's been going on almost continuously since 1987. It is not a flash-in-the-pan situation. The clusters of sightings over Gulf Breeze are taking on a new look. Rare daylight events have UFO researchers scrambling for an explanation. We now are going through a series, it seems, of daylight sightings, and the nighttime sightings have uh, almost completely uh, diminished. 90% of all reported or recorded UFO sightings occur at night. Only 10% are seen during daytime hours and are rarely captured on tape or film. Along with the increase in daylight sightings has been an increase in the number of eyewitness reports. The people in the community who have said that they've seen UFOs are people like doctors and lawyers and, and real estate people. And it's just not a bunch of lunatics <laughs> running around saying that they saw lights in the sky. It's just, uh, very different. This is not a movie. It is actual footage of a UFO seen over Gulf Breeze in broad daylight. The daylight sightings that we've had of the last year have all been authenticated, the, the photographs, the videos, the witnesses have all proved positive. Here in Gulf Breeze, there are so many sightings and there's so much going on. Either you have to go on with your life or you let it just drive you crazy. And so I've just chose to go on with my life. On November 28, 1993, Ed Walters, a successful local contractor, saw bright flashes of light in the afternoon sky. He grabbed his home video camera and drove toward the lights. I actually drove down to the uh, public beach, um, got out of my truck, and uh, calmly uh, walked out onto the beach, uh, hoping that I might uh, see these bright flashes once again. Walking along here towards the west. Continued to scan around, look around. Uh, Panning around here. 360, there's the sand dunes, that's the north. Oh, geez, goodness gracious. Over those dunes right there. It appeared and flew in from the north, hovered out over the beach, over the shoreline and uh, I dashed over to the, towards the sand dunes and dropped to my knees and uh, started filming it. This is what Ed Walters captured on videotape. The shaded, disc-shaped object appears to hover overhead, then abruptly disappears. There she is, right there. Oh my God, just hovering right there. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, wouldn't you know it? Jeff Senyo is a video analyst with MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network. Recognized worldwide as an expert in his field, Senio believes Walter's tape is authentic. Notice particularly when he sees the object, how the oscilloscope shows that the camera was indeed bounced around. You see a lot of video disturbance there, which is typical of a raw video of a camera that's been bounced around. That eliminates editing as a possibility for creating this thing. There she is, right there. 
Ed Walters is no stranger to UFO documentation. He snapped the first Gulf Breeze UFO photograph in 1987. He also took this picture, which he believes is a near miss between a UFO and a fighter jet. And the jet had, was continuing on and passed right, looked to me like it was headed right at the UFO. Ed Walters has come under fire from skeptics who do not believe that one man could have seen and documented so many significant UFO events. But Walters is not bothered by charges that he is a sophisticated hoaxer. There are some people who just absolutely will not consider the evidence. They will, uh, they will kill the messenger. Judge me if you will, but the fact is I've videotaped and saw a UFO. With enough time, money, luck, and skill, anything can be faked. But unless Ed Walters has Steven Spielberg as a brother-in-law to fake this video, two different types of photographs, it would be extremely difficult for an ordinary man to fake. Walters isn't the only one to document a daytime sighting. This footage was shot by a Gulf Breeze resident who chooses to remain anonymous. He gave the tape and his story to local reporter Bland Pugh. The UFO, as he observed it, came out of the southeast. It moved over his head at an incredibly fast speed and disappeared out to the northwest. This particular sighting in itself was a landmark sighting in that it actually showed the UFO disappearing or leaving, as it were. See it coming in here, it's very indistinct. It appears to be moving relatively slowly. So here's a slowdown of the same video, object hovering there motionless and zips off instantaneously barely make it out as it zips off to the right. The object was about three miles away on the left side, got up to about two miles away on the right side, and was doing about 4,000 miles an hour. Still another documented sighting comes from an eyewitness known only as Philip. The flight pattern is similar to that on the other videotapes, and so is the shape of the craft. The, the various videos corroborate each other. They corroborate previous witness testimony, and so it all the, the pieces of the puzzle all fit together. Military bases in the area may have information about what is flying above southern Florida, but every attempt to obtain comment from the military is not only denied, it is ignored. It could be that the military is tied into this. I'm not accusing, nor am I saying they are covering up. I'm just saying that they have, they've just kept their mouth shut. I do believe there is a growing pattern of contact, which suggests that we are getting closer to actually meeting the neighbors. Gulf Breeze is part of that pattern. We will be back with more sightings 